Hello, Gareth here. In this watercolour video, I'm going to show you how to choose your colours. So, for example, if you want to use a yellow in your painting, but you're not sure which yellow to use, then this is a good technique to find out which you like. So what I'm going to do is choose two yellows. So one is called Aurelin. I don't know if you can see that. And this is a Windsor and Newton brand. And the other one, which is um, Holbein brand, is Imidazolone Lemon. Whoops. So I don't know how you pronounce that properly. But um, these are the two we're going to uh, test. And um, I'll put the names in the, uh, in the notes below. So um, I'm squeezing them out. Now normally I'd put these in the painting slots. But as you can see my painting slots are very full or dirty. So anyway this is what I do. So first of all, get my brush and then get some of this, um, let me see, Aurelin. So Aurelin looks a bit darker. So let's mix it up. And then, so it looks dark, but when you put it on the um, paper, really is a beautiful yellow. So there we go. Next. I get some alizarin crimson and I put that just here beautiful color and then I get some phthalo blue there we go and uh, put that here so what I'm going to do now is mix these colors and see what it looks like so first of all the yellow and the red so here we go so if I was doing a sunset this is the kind of um, colour I would get if I mix these two so quite nice, quite nice. Okay, so if I mix this with blue, let's see what we get. So just mix it a little. It'll give us this kind of light green. Then mix it a bit more and then mix it completely. So those are the kind of greens that it would give us. And then just for fun, let's mix the whole lot up. And we could make this kind of brown. If I added more blue, it would become a gray, I think. Oh, that's too much. So that's going to be a bit greeny. So let's add a little bit of red. Oh yeah, here we go. You see it's becoming grey. So those are the kind of colours I'm going to get using a yellow, this yellow, Aurelin, with red and blue. So now let's move on to using oh it's a bit stressful actually because this this word is so long imidazolone lemon i don't know who chose that name but i think they could have chosen a better one here we go so um like before now this looks brighter yellow doesn't it okay so that's not 100% clean so let's just wipe that again okay 
so I'm not doing justice to this colour. It's very easy for these colours, these yellows, to get contaminated. So that looks quite nice. It's a bit thick. Okay, then let me find my red. Okay, here's my red. And... Here's my blue. Now one thing is when we start to look at these and compare them as watercolour dries out it fades a little so we are it is going to look a little bit different. Okay I haven't left myself much space here but we'll just see what we see. Okay so here we go, here's the mix of yellow and red. Hmm. And a bit stronger. And even stronger. So like that. Now really, I can't see that much difference. Now, um, to be fair, we should let this dry and see how faint it goes, but that looks very similar to me. So it looks like there's no difference. And this is kind of important because these two paints are different prices. So the Aurelin is more expensive. Quite a bit more expensive. Okay, so let's do now this yellow and blue. Okay. There we go, and that looks beautiful. Okay, let's add some more blue. Okay, here we go. Right. So, really looking very similar to, uh, looking very similar to this. So I've done it a bit darker here, a bit more blue, but as you can see, it's, it's not that different. I could do um, a lot more yellow. Let's have a look. Hmm. Okay. Sorry about the singing outside. It, it's a very noisy place, Japan. So. Okay, so that was a bit of accidental entertainment there for you. Okay, now let's do our brown. Not sure if you could hear that, but it's very loud <laughs> for me. Okay, and here goes our brown. And then we're going to add some blue, not too much, and a bit of red, trying to create a grey here. Beginning to look a bit grey. Hmm. No, I'm not managing to do that for some reason. Okay. Okay, now it's sort of greyish. Oh, yeah. There we go. So I'll leave them to dry and then we can have a look and see what we think. Okay, the paint has dried and um, I'm very surprised because for me there's not much difference. So here's our Aeolian. I'm sorry I don't know how you pronounce them but I'm just guessing. So here's the Aeolian and here's the Amidazolone Lemon. And when I look at the orange, this one looks more vibrant. And with the green, this one too looks slightly more stronger, more vibrant. 
But I think the reason for that is the mix was a bit thicker. So I think I used a thicker mix of lemon or imidazolone lemon. And that's why these colours look a bit stronger, the more saturated. So I think, to be honest, both these colours look like they give the same kind of um, colours when mixed with other colours, if that makes sense. <laughs> so they basically, when mixed with other colours, they basically give the same, basically the same kind of results. Now, when I look at the Aeroleum, it does look a bit more yellowish, but I think, or I kind of, hmm, maybe it's just because it's pale. But also maybe the Amidazolone lemon was slightly contaminated when I used it. Yellows very, very quickly become dirty. So when I use a yellow and I'm making a mix, I always use the yellow first because they get dirty very, very quickly. So I think that's the reason. This is a little dirty. That's why it looks a little different. And also it's a bit thicker and that's why it doesn't look quite like this. But in the mixers, we can see that the, the blends are stronger, which would suggest that this mix is maybe thicker. So I'm really amazed. They really don't look that different. But the important point is, Aeroleum is a bit more expensive than Amidazolone Lemon. Now, both these colours are permanent. So what I would suggest is you go out, buy these colours, or if you've got two yellows, doesn't matter what they are, please try them like this and see how different they are and I'd love to know what you find out and um, if you enjoyed this video and found it useful please give me a like but most important of all please have a go and tell me in the comments that you did it because that's what it's all about not just listening to videos but practicing because that's how we get better and that's why we're here right so have some fun and that's all for this video. Bye and happy painting.